Mr. Candidate, the committee has uh, reviewed your thesis and discussed the adequacy of the defense, and the committee came to a positive judgment about both aspects and therefore has decided to uh, award the doctorate to you. Professor Steinbusch is now authorized to confer upon you the academic distinction of the doctorate according to the Dutch university habits, so I give the floor to your supervisor. Dear Mr. Candidate, by the authority vested in us by law and in conformity with the decision of the committee here presented, I hereby confer upon you, Lim Wei Lim, the degree of doctor and grant you all rights attached to it by law and customs. As evidence of this, I now present you with the degree certificate signed by the rector, the secretary, and all members of the committee and affixed with the great seal of this university. Give the word back to the pro actor, please. The supervisor, Dr. Timmel, will now give the laudatio. Thank you. Dear Dr. Lim, congratulations to you and to your family with this very fine achievement. Most of us probably does not know your official first name, which is Li Wei. Here we call you by your English name, Anthony. If you don't mind, I would like to continue calling you Anthony during this laudatio. Dear Anthony, I've met you almost three years ago. Like it is, most meetings have a story. And so we also have a story. If I remember rightly with my overloaded memory disk, then this meeting was as follows. Dr. Conscheurs contacted me so almost three years ago and said that he was interested in exploring the effects of electrical stimulation of the periodontal gray on panic and fear behavior. At the same time, he said that he had a student from Malaysia who was very motivated and wanted to do these experiments. But interestingly, this student was in the psychiatric hospital Feverdal, not submitted as a patient, I assume. However, this is still not confirmed. But I was told that he was a master student there a master student in a psychiatric hospital. And then we made an appointment with you and came together in the office of Dr. Arjan Blokland, your co-supervisor. There we discussed the project and made a plan. A plan for one experiment. After this meeting, however, you disappeared for several months. <laughs> I thought that this was the end of the project. <laughs> But surprisingly, you returned, and, and, and what a return. You managed to finish this first experiment quickly and continued with your following experiments and finally produced your PhD thesis. Dear Anthony, it took you less time than normally needed to finalize your thesis. This achievement is, according to me, directly related to some of your personal characteristics. Nowadays, rarely seen. The combination of hard working Dedication, passion for neuroscience, and very important, fine social skills was your recipe for success. In other words, for me, you're the miracle of Malaysia. Dear Anthony, besides your professional qualifications, we appreciate your personality and are delighted that you have agreed to stay for, not, for at least another three years with us. In the next three years, we have a tough and big job to do. But I'm not despaired. With you along our side, I'm convinced that we will bring the next project to a happy hand like we did with this thesis. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dr. Lee Wei Lim, I would like to congratulate you on behalf of the University of Maastricht University and Maastricht University Medical Center. It's the task of the corona of the committee to have a judgment about the thesis and the defense, and we did so. 
um, and there were many very positive remarks about the quality of your thesis. It's an important field, it's an innovative field, we think, and you have published in the meantime at a very young age now, I saw nine international papers, peer-reviewed international, that's fantastic, I think, and it's uh, a testimony of your talents, which are, uh, I think, also in the defense. In, uh, my experience was that with many colors, you have indeed defended the color gray, you succeeded in that. And uh, my feeling is that you are one of the, uh, the hidden treasures of Masters University because we are looking for people who have a kind of role model. You came from far away, and I think you are one of the people in our university who are role model for internationalization, but not only for internationalization, but also for uh, uh, talent and, and very uh, rare talents who uh, work in such a way uh, that, they, um, that they can enroll in innovative research and they can, in a very short time, produce such international papers, and that's very good for our university. Thank you for that. But, uh, I'm also proud that you have uh, a role in our university to play as a postdoc, and you know uh, this was also awarded by granting you the Kootstra Fellowship, and that's important because that's a sign from the university and the faculty, a sign of trust, but not only a sign of trust, also it's a kind of task, and that's a task to write a project which will be granted by uh, the national authorities so that you can stay at the university. Thank you very much. Congratulations you with your much. doctorate. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, were impressed by the quality of the thesis and therefore I think it's time to go to the Refter. Uh, there you can uh, congratulate the new Dr. Lei, uh, Li Wei Lim. I understand it's Anthony. Now I understand why it's Anthony. <laughs> but, <laughs> I should pronounce it properly. Dr. Li Weilin can be congratulated. Follow us, please.